Okay, mastering Bollinger Bands. In this video I'm going to show you how to master the use of Bollinger Bands to identify high probability uh, trade entry and potentially exits for stocks, options, and Forex. Um, if you use the techniques that I outline in this video, it will definitely enable you to find some very high probability uh, trade entries. There's five main signals that we're going to cover. There's variations to the signals and I'll cover a couple of them. But all of them are, are based on, and this is where a lot of people make the mistake with Bollinger Bands, but it's based on approaching price action with a look at both bands. doesn't matter which way it's approaching. If price is approaching an upper band, you're still looking at both bands for clues as to what price is going to do next, because that's the, the point we're trying to forecast price movement. So we have five main signals. First one is the constriction, the most... Uh, I don't want to say the most important, but probably the the most famous of the signals is constriction, and that is decreasing volatility. When the bands come together, and you know are not indicating any point of coming apart, they're constricting. And you can see here that um, unless the average daily range reduces more than it is now, it's not going to get any more um, constricted. So this is the constriction, and what we're looking for here is an expansion of the upper and lower band, meaning both one is going to head up, one is going to head down, and that's going to indicate to us an expansion in volatility, and we're going to look to enter this trade either long or short, and that depends upon a couple things, so we'll cover that in just a second. Here's the bullish expansion. Okay, let's We can pretend that it was a constriction at an earlier point, maybe not as tight as the one we used in the last example, but here is bullish expansion. And what's going to happen here is price is going to walk along the upper band as the upper band heads up. And what's critical for bullish expansion is that the lower band is heading in the opposite direction as the upper band. This is an ideal signal right here. <clears throat> we begin to move out of the uh, contraction phase and the upper band heads up and the lower band heads down. Ideal entry for a long position. The sharper the turning of the bands, both of them, the usually, typically, 99% of the time, the more volatile the move. Okay, there's a couple things that we need to look out for with the bullish or bearish ex expansion, but um, we won't cover them right now. And then there's the bearish expansion, which is just the opposite. We have, you can see on this first bar, um, and the bands aren't as close together as they might be in a in a real example. And this is actually pretty typical, but you have your um, your bars approaching the lower band. Then the lower band begins to head what I call south, and the upper band heads north. Okay, they're they're opposing each other and heading in opposite directions, which is an indication of expanding volatility. Price is down on the lower band, which is an indication that price is going to move down in that direction for a time. If this is a daily chart, the time frame that this move will take place will be longer of course than if it's on a one minute or a five minute chart okay so the the move is relative to the time frame that you're looking at um, and um, just think about that it's it's kind of a common sense so here's a bullish move up where we have some expansion and this is what I want to point out to you why it's critical that you look at both bands so we have constriction okay in the earlier one and two and three bars then our upper band begins to head up but our lower band instead of heading down and expanding we can see that the lower band is heading up with it now with the upper band so the lower band is moving up with the upper band so we don't have extreme expanding of volatility but if you look closely the bands are still separating but they're not separating as extremely as they are in the other um, examples. And this, so this is still a bullish move up, but again, we're looking at the bands and we're looking at um, their reaction to approach, approaching price action. And in this case, as price approaches the upper band, it moves up, which is bullish, but we don't have the expansion that we like to see. So pay attention to this because it's important. It's still a bullish move up, but you can anticipate the move is not going to be as extreme or as lengthy as the other examples given. Okay, so again, we're looking at both bands to get a clue 
as to what price is going to do so we can forecast movement. This is still a good entry. It's just a more short term one. Same with the bearish move down. Again, we have the lower, we have price appro along the lower band. In the beginning, we have constricting volatility as price moves. We do see a little bit of expansion, but the upper band is following the lower band, which tells us that, that volatility is not expanding like we'd like to see it. Maybe some of you would skip this move, but, but maybe not. You know, it just depends. The move is probably still going to take place, but it's not going to be as big. You might consider a, you know, one or two candlestick time frame in a move like this, and that that just depends. Okay, here's a typical variance. Again, we want to watch both bands and the reaction to approaching price, both bands. So I show you this because in this example, you have um, this is what you're going to see a lot on a chart. You're going to see the bands more apart. Um, you can see in the earlier stages of this development, first four candlesticks, um, we had price, the upper band moving up with price, and the lower band was kind of flat, and around the fifth or sixth candlestick, you could see that uh, price, the lower band, began to move down, okay? One might, f might have found entry there depending upon other factors, okay, overbought and oversold conditions. But one might have found entry there because we do have, although not extreme, we have um, bands that are pulling apart from each other. One's headed north, one's headed south. Now the upper band will be headed more north and the lower band is headed less south or less down. So they're not parting, you know, extremely, but they are beginning to part here in about the sixth candlestick. Now, as price moves up the upper band, the... Um, upper band starts to head up, price begins to move up with the upper band, <clears throat> and then we see the lower band start to move in the same direction as price, which is just an indication that that, that, that lower band following price with the upper band is going to slow the move down. Okay? So keep that in mind. And um, if you watch both bands an approaching price action and the reaction that the bands have, the lower and the upper, to approaching price action, um, you will do extremely well and you'll have a great understanding of Bollinger Bands. In this few minute video right here, you'll have a better understanding of Bollinger Bands probably than any book you could read in Barnes & Noble. Here's my last variance and um, it's an expansion variance and again, the bands are far apart to begin with. But um, we can see about the third candlestick back, uh, maybe maybe right about where I had the last two candlesticks. We can see that the upper band has been headed up. The lower band has been following it in the past. Okay, There's still some expansion going on, but it's not extreme until right now where the lower band starts to turn downward. Okay, And this is a case, it's kind of a late expansion case. But because volatility is expanding, we can expect somewhat of an explosive move. Okay, so watch those bands relative to approaching price, and you'll do, and you can develop a great system around Bollinger Bands. So um, these are the these are the the main indicator, the main indications with Bollinger Bands that you can use extremely effectively because you're measuring volatility, and if you look at both bands relative to approaching price, you'll be much more successful with Bollinger Bands.